Cardano's lending ecosystem has seen a massive growth, but not all lending platforms on Cardano are the same. Some are built for NFT collectors and others are for yield seekers. So in this video, let's find out which one actually fits your needs. But before we talk names, let's chat about why lending even matters and highlight some strategies so you know exactly what you're looking for. So let's say you've got crypto sitting in your wallet. Maybe it's ADA, a cool NFT or some stable coins. And yes, holding them is pretty cool. But what's even better is that there's some relatively safe ways to earn passive income with them or leverage them. And that's where lending platforms come in. You can lend your assets and earn interest or you can borrow against them so you can take advantage of other opportunities without having to sell your crypto. So here are a few quick examples. You can lend your stable coins for relatively high yields versus a low risk profile as APYs usually range between 10 to 20 percent. And in my opinion, this is such an excellent strategy to earn passive income on your parked gains because you don't expose yourself to a lot of risk doing this. And I won't go into all the details in this video, but if you want to learn more about the strategy, I have linked a full tutorial in the description box down below. So example number two, let's say you hold ADA and you really believe in ADA long term. So you don't want to sell your precious coins, but a great opportunity just popped up that you just want to take advantage of short term. I mean, we all know how that happens in crypto. So instead of selling your ADA, you can use it as collateral and borrow the asset you need. This way you can keep your ADA upside and take advantage of other opportunities. Just keep in mind that this is only good for short term strategies as it comes with the risk of liquidation and you will also have to make interest payments on your borrowed assets. So in any case, make sure that your gains outweigh it. And here's the final example. Let's say you were really big into NFTs and you're holding some that have some kind of utility or value. So instead of letting them just sit, you could them out or borrow against them. So in short, lending platforms help your assets do more. And on Cardano, we've got a few different ones. So in this video, we'll look at Fluid Tokens, Levy, Liquid and Dano Go. I'll walk you through each one, what they do best and what they could do for you. Hi, I'm Linda. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider delegating to my Malu pool or to me as a Cardano d -Rip. I've left the links in the description down below. First up is Fluid Tokens. Fluid is a peer to peer lending marketplace that supports both tokens and NFTs. So you can use your NFTs or tokens as collateral to borrow other assets or lend your assets out to earn yield directly from borrowers. The APYs on Fluid tokens are generally pretty great and they keep getting better. And it's not just that. Fluid Tokens offers a whole array of other interesting features like Boosted Stake and the Aquarium Protocol, which lets you pay transaction fees using custom tokens and even automate certain smart contract actions, which makes it super flexible. They also offer a few interesting Bitcoin integrations on top. They are the guys who are pioneering this, so it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for any protocol updates because these guys, they are always cooking. Next up is Levy. They're also a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform with a strong focus on both NFTs and token lending. And while their token lending has a much higher volume, they have also traditionally been the place to go for NFT loans. So if you own NFTs or tokens and you want to unlock liquidity without selling them, Levy makes that possible. You can list both your NFTs and NTs as collateral, set your loan terms and connect directly with lenders who are interested in funding your loan. Levy's doing a great job at making NFT lending accessible for everyone. So whether you need to DeFi or already deep in the ecosystem, it gives NFT holders real utility in turning digital collectibles into productive assets. So if your portfolio is heavy on NFTs, this is definitely the one to keep an eye on. So both Levy and Fluid are based around short-term lending, which can be great for users to free up liquidity for an opportunity elsewhere in the ecosystem. But it also offers 
often used for shorting the market. Users will take loans against an asset if they're expecting the price to drop. So if you're lending, you need to be aware of this as they often set high APYs to entice lenders. High risk, but also very high reward. Next up is Liquid Finance, which has been one of the core DeFi projects on Cardano since the early days. Liquid runs on a pooled lending model instead of a peer-to-peer -peer model, which means that you can deposit your assets like ADA, stablecoins, or any other Cardano native token into a liquidity pool. Borrowers then take loans from that pool and you earn interest automatically. It's non-custodial, so everything happens through smart contracts, and you also earn LQ tokens on top, which also gives you governance power in the protocol. It's a great fit for people who want a more traditional lending setup, the kind where you deposit your assets, earn APY, and just don't think about it too much. So if you want to earn an extra buck with your stablecoins, Liquid is the way to go. It's relatively risk-free and the APYs are usually somewhere between 10 to 20%. And finally, Dano Go. Now, this one takes a slightly different approach. It's a yield aggregator, which means it uses strategies across other lending platforms to optimize your returns automatically. So instead of manually managing multiple positions on multiple platforms, you can deposit into Dano Go, and it finds the most efficient lending and borrowing combinations for you. It's basically an automation layer that connects the ecosystem, and it's perfect for users who want to make the most out of DeFi without having to micromanage every single move. And the best part is it helps unify all these protocols, because the more these tools connect, the stronger can Cardano's overall DeFi experience becomes. So here's a quick recap before we wrap up. Fluid Tokens is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform for tokens and NFTs, which is packed with innovative features. Levy also offers peer-to-peer -peer lending for NFTs and tokens, and they're the place to go for NFTs. It's super intuitive and great for unlocking NFT liquidity. Liquid Finance offers pooled lending for ADA, stablecoins, and Cardano tokens. It's reliable, established, and great for passive yield. Danogo is a yield aggregator that connects various lending platforms and automates strategies to maximize returns. So each one plays a different role, but together they cover almost every lending use case you could think of on Cardano, from simple stablecoin yield all the way to NFT-backed loans and automated DeFi strategies. And that's it. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite one and why. Thanks for tuning into this video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.